part two, Heather and Ross vlog, number one of many. Optimism, right? Uh, um. So I just would really like you to reflect back on really <laughs> like every single relationship that you've ever had throughout your entire life. With girls or with everybody? Everyone. Okay. Family. Okay. Friends. Yeah. Work. I have. I have. Heather, uh, romantic partners. Please. I have said this out loud. I struggle in every aspect of my life. Every aspect. I've said that to my mom. I'm so. I. I struggle with relationships with my family, with my parents, with my brothers and my sisters, with all of my girlfriends. Every relationship lasts about a year before we break up. Can I finish asking you the question? Yeah, I'm sorry. Um, how many times have you gone through this pattern? Every single, what, what, what pattern? What pattern? pattern Blatant what? disrespect. Uh, yeah, why I feel disrespected from other people. Mm-hmm. Um, with, with the majority uh, completely of Completely honest. Yeah. yeah, about 80% of people at some point I feel, yeah. Because I feel like, um, I, okay, the way that I, the way that I grew up, it was very, like, a, a, okay, and, uh, so I think most people didn't grow up like that. It's, it's people like, there's very, like, select people that have grown, like, I like, I like Andrew at work mm -hmm. because he's an ex-gang member. They're all about respect, mm -hmm. the way you talk to each other. Mm -hmm. You don't talk down to somebody. I like people like that because they... Where does that come from? My stepfather. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And... And I realized that the majority of people weren't raised that way. And they, they weren't, like, they, they didn't have this level of, like... I was raised that way. I was raised that way. I don't... I, and I don't take if, everything so personally. Okay. Because I realize that the world isn't about respect 100% of the time. Not saying that I necessarily agree with it. And I and I let things go sometimes from other people, right? And I'm I'm I am tighter with you, right? Because And that's projection. Because there's because this this dis disrespect that I feel from the world I so desperately wanna feel it from my partner in life. I so desperately want her to understand. I, Ross, I do understand, but... You're not open. Listen, listen. You're not open to fully understanding where where the line is of what I find respectful and what I find I get that. I just think You'd that those off. lines... I don't deserve. No, they're it's not... not valid. It, it's not deserving. I think they're somewhat unattainable. I don't want to live in a military household. I don't want to say yes, sir, unless I've never asked you to say it's yes, metaphorically sir. speaking. But you're 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 blowing it up to make it blown out of proportion. Am I? I believe you are. I don't I, feel that way. Well, we can talk to this about. We can talk to Kim about this to see. I want to know. I'm so open to knowing if 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 these lines of respect and disrespect are valid or not. I just really, you know, after you go home. Like, I would really appreciate it if you took some serious time to reflect back on all of the relationships that you can remember where you said that you have, like, you know, systemically experienced or perceived this disrespect. And I, please, I don't please hear go me up. that far because I'm trying but to you change. Need to. I'm trying to change and I'm trying to grow. You, I, I want to look how. You have I to, love, to go, but you have to move back to move forward when it comes to that agree, kind of stuff. I agree, and I have, and I've looked, I've looked back and I've already started the forward progress, right? Okay, and I... And I want, please, and I, and I, I would, I've looked at my relationships in my past so deeply for so long, right? And it's time for me to move past that. It's time for me to, to get over it and move on. 
it's not what that's what's important right I have picked those relationships apart what I there, there, there's no need to look any further than my current relationships with guys at work how I how I view thank you, you well, let me finish and then, so how I how I feel disrespected at work I can look back to uh, my previous job at Micromotion and, and the disrespect how I felt there right or how um, how I've let this how I've let the little guy thing little man thing with Johnny I let it go I didn't let it escalate I didn't let it fester right for a little while anyway for a little while I did and I dropped it that I ne- I, that old me would never do that would would you have had the com or would you have dealt with it in the way that you did without me having that conversation with you though I am so much better with you in my life I, uh, that wasn't like t- to like make myself like whatever. That was just an actual question. Because I feel like no. Would I be the man I am today if we didn't start dating a year ago? No. My life is so much better with you in it. So, for a long time, I've had a recent realization, right? So, uh, for a long time, I've always thought that, like, to, like, to have, uh, to have something outside of the relationship, right? To have some, something else outside of, outside of, uh, the relationship in life that you enjoy, right? Mm-hmm. So, I always thought that, like, my snakes and my motorcycles and my hobbies was like filling that role, right? But I, I'm starting to see recently because of you, because of a push from you, that there is um, a void in my life that those things do not fill. There's something inside of me, right? There That I need to... I need to work on forgiveness. I need to I need to forgive a lot of people for a lot of things. I need to learn how to let go of resentment and to move on so I can be happy. These are things that I recognize already um, and things that I'm willing to open up about and talk to a professional about how I can move forward. There are also things that I can that I can point to. A noticeable change, like with the whole Johnny thing, and letting it go, and moving on, and trying to At be work? happy. Yeah. Is that his name? Yeah, and we talk now, and we're, we're buddies, and like, there's no resentment, and he doesn't call me little guy, and he actually like, he looks up to me, like I'm actually like, he respects me. Mm-hmm. And there's also something like in that in that quiz we took about about like what numbers we are or whatever. The Enneagram. You're yes. a six. I'm a six. Fuck, I don't need it. Um, but one of the questions was like, do you feel a need or a desire to be um, like looked up to by other people? And I do. I I've always felt that. Like, yeah. Uh, like but to even, be hold, that... hold on, even like, I mean, even like dating pretty girls, I know okay? Talking. So even like, I'll use this as a real life example. <clears throat> Do you remember when we went to South Carolina? Mm-hmm. We stopped to see my aunt, right? Mm-hmm. She looked at you, mm-hmm. she looked at my dad, and she says, see, I told you he would be alright. Just you being with me is validation. Mm-hmm. How could I, poor girl like you, my own family, 
doesn't think that, right? Like, my own, my own aunt looks at you, right? Like, told you there was no reason to be worried about him. Look at this girl. Do you see? And it's like, I see that. I feel that. You know what I mean? That, like, makes me sick to my stomach, to be honest. And I mean, I get there's it, so because much, I've been there before. There's so much... Why does it make you feel sick to your stomach? There's so much more to you realize. Because I, yeah, I'm just remembering how it felt to, like, need that validation my, externally. My whole And I life, don't feel like I need that anymore. Like, I have totally just, like... T I mean, obviously, like... You know, there are certain things, like, externally that are nice to hear, but, like, I don't need to hear don't, those things. Well, I don't have a need for that either. I'm just saying that, I'm just saying that, like, did you, did you see that? That's a real-life example, mm -hmm. right? And it's, okay, I kind of, I, you do I need do, it. because my whole life, and I'm sure this is something that you can relate to, right? This is a reason why I find it so... You you have this feeling of you fit in everywhere but belong nowhere, right? Is that what you said? Yeah. I've always felt like I belong nowhere. I can't relate to people. Like... But to be that person that people... That y you feel like you need... To, to be that person that people look up to. That you say you feel like you need that. You have to be that person. And I am that person. At work, I am that person. Because that is what I've put my focus into, right? You say that we're in, we're at different, we're at different stages in life, and that's true. In 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 this aspect, in other aspects, in other aspects, I... we are in different levels, and I I might be ahead of you, right? Yeah. At work, I am that guy. Mm -hmm. And Johnny Johnny sees that. All the other guys see that. I'm fucking training the new guy. Yeah, that's great. Fucking sixty year old sixty year old men were helping me. Like we, the power went out in our shop because something, whatever, whatever. We couldn't weld, mm -hmm. so there was carts to make. Johnny and Patrick were ordered by Marty to make carts with me, like like under me, like. They're 60-year-old men. Mm -hmm. And not only did they not, like, accept that, they they did it without bitching, mm -hmm. and they followed my orders. Like, yeah. But it's not just at work, though. Like, if I you want to be that I'm, person, it that's needs what I'm to saying. be... That's what I'm saying. It needs to be the whole mm -hmm. package. And I'm working on it. And I'm so open to it. Oh, yeah, um, yeah, I mean, and that's another thing that I, you know, obviously touched on in the letter, it's just, like, I do, like, really feel like we are at different stages, and, like, this is gonna be, this is gonna be hard to say, and it's probably gonna be even harder for you to hear. I know... Well, I mean, I guess I already said it, but you, I mean, you said that you feel like you're better when you're with me because mm -hmm. of me. And mm -hmm. there are aspects about, you know, where I'm at in my life right now that I am better and they are because of you. Like me continuing my education and going to school. pushed you to better yourself in a lot more ways than that. I mean, I can't take credit for your wisdom teeth, but I was a positive force pushing you towards the right direction. There's so many things I try to push you towards the right direction. Yeah, but I wouldn't have done it unless I lost my I'm client not saying gave me the money. That's what I said. I can't take credit for yeah. it. But was I not there? Was you I were, not yeah. cheerleading you? you were. And you have cheerleaded me considerable amount throughout our relationship but it's also like again this is going to be really hard to hear 
and I said it in the letter, but I'll say more, like, I don't really feel like the best version of myself when we're together. So because I constantly on? feel like I have to lift, like, I, I feel like, I feel like, um, I feel like I'm like, I got you like over my shoulder or something. Does that make sense? Like emotionally speaking and like how can I be the best version of myself when I feel like I constantly have to validate you or constantly have to do this. Okay. And I understand that there's a certain level of that that needs to come and happen in a relationship. But like there's just like this this Let's break this Wait. down. Let's break this down, right? Let's break this down even further, right? Of, of, of the cause, right? What is causing you to feel like you have to carry me emotionally? Because... Much more than I know what you're about to say. very difficult for me to be my best if I don't feel like you're getting me your best. I did try to get you my best though for so and there long. Were the first two months of this relationship, was long. Yeah. you gave me your all for the first two months and then you, then the fight started to happen, you started to slowly pull about away. Your I feel like it was great all the way up until your birthday for the most part. I mean, yes, it we was, had... It was, it was great until we got back from South Carolina. So, so that was, what, a couple weeks before your birthday? Okay. And then I feel like your birthday, everything just kind of fell apart, really. That was, like, really the, the point in time where I feel like that's really when things started to get bad. Why? What happened on my birthday that was so bad? It wasn't on your birthday, but we had a really big fight, like a couple of days after. And about what? Has that problem been resolved? I mean, the, the honestly, thing is, I can't even. There not. have been so many. Yeah, probably not. Exactly. And so this is the first time in our relationship that we're being honest and open about these issues. They have been playing on repeat for so long. I have felt a, 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 a disconnect from you for so long. And it has made a desperation inside of me. That desperation is an emotional weight that you feel like you have to carry. I mean, it's not, it's not just about the relationship. I feel like I am carrying the weight of your past just along with you. Because you haven't dealt with it. I mean, I told you that I'm trying. I know, but... Do you want to... Do you... I need you to choose me, Heather. I need you to choose me or to let me go. this a lot, a lot, a lot, and uh, there's part of me that doesn't want to be done, the other part, in all honesty, does. And then there's another part of me that tells me that I need to be. I just, I just, I don't.
understand. 